Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're focusing on a groundbreaking announcement that's stirring up conversations across the globe. We're talking about Iraq's 2024 budget and the bold statements made by Saleh, the finance advisor to Sudani, on Iraqi Channel 1. As viewers tune in, they're met with a surprising revelation. Saleh is on air, confidently declaring that the 2024 budget is not only in full force but also active. This means that the financial blueprint set for the year ahead is already operational. But here's where it gets interesting according to Saleh, there's no need for this budget to be sent to Parliament for approval. This is a significant departure from the usual protocol, and it's causing quite a stir. For those closely following the situation, there's a sense of confusion in the air. Just when everyone thought the budget was being amended, the narrative takes a sharp turn. No amendments, no parliamentary approval, it's a done deal. But why this sudden change? What does it mean for the country's economy? Enter Frank, a voice of reason amidst the chaos. He's been saying it all along the budget does not need Parliament. It's a statement he's repeated time and time again, but it seems to fall on deaf ears until now. Frank explains that the budget is waiting for something else, something crucial, the new exchange rate. The exchange rate is the linchpin in this entire scenario. It's the factor that the budget is patiently waiting for, and according to Frank it's not waiting for anyone or anything else, especially not the so-called stupid parliament, this blunt dismissal of parliamentary involvement is a bold stance, one that underscores the independence of the financial system from political processes. So what does all this mean for Iraq and its citizens? It's a question that's on everyone's mind, and the implications are far-reaching. An active budget without parliamentary approval suggests a shift in the power dynamics within the government. It also raises questions about transparency, accountability, and the future of Iraq's economic policies. As we delve deeper into the discussion, we'll explore the potential outcomes of this unprecedented move. Will it lead to a more efficient implementation of financial strategies, or will it create a rift between the government and its people? How will international investors react to this news, and what does it mean for Iraq's position in the global economy? Throughout the video, we'll bring in experts to weigh in on the situation, analyze the possible motivations behind this decision, and forecast the economic trends that could emerge from it. We'll also take a closer look at the role of the exchange rate and why it's become the focal point of the budget's activation. As we wrap up, we'll leave our viewers with a thought-provoking question, is this a new era for Iraq's financial governance, or is it a risky gamble that could have unforeseen consequences? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure the world is watching, and Iraq is at the center of a financial narrative that could redefine its future. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the complexities of Iraq's 2024 budget. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, keep an eye on the economy, because as we've seen today, it waits for no one.